a brand new video on the channel. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, we're gonna be unboxing, very carefully unboxing, the RZ250 Fusion Pro scooter in the blue. Dude, I've got the blue one right here. We're gonna very carefully unbox this because I actually have to sell it. So I don't want to destroy it. So we're gonna unbox it so I can put it back in the box. But we're gonna have a little look at it. We're gonna take it outside. We're gonna go over the specs and I'm gonna show you guys exactly why this is the best entry level scooter on the market. Right, so I got my knife. Uh, I couldn't find my scissors. I don't know where my scissors are. I think I lost them. We're gonna open this up. We're gonna just very carefully just pop, just like that. And pop. All right, we're gonna open this up. We're gonna see what's inside. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like and how it comes packaged. Then I'm gonna pull it apart. I'm gonna take off the plastic. I'm gonna do a little voiceover, a little voiceover on all the specs and just go over everything, guys, while you see how beautiful this product is, okay? Alrighty, let's pull it out. It comes packaged really nicely like that. Beautiful looking box, very simple to open, very nice packaging, just very plain. Uh, comes packaged just like this, with a bit of plastic around it, in two pieces, so you've got the bars and the deck. So all you gotta do to put it together, guys, is whack the bars on the deck and you're rolling away, simple as that. No, no tricks, no messing around, you just unclip these things and you're done, all right? <laughs> no messing around, lol. Make sure you've got scissors and not a knife. Okay, that's not gonna work, I think I need my scissors. Okay. Oh, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. I'm supposed to be carefully unboxing this, guys, and I'm just uh, ripping it to pieces, you know? So, nah, I won't scratch it, I promise. Uh, this one here, I'm gonna put this one together. And if anyone wants to buy this one, I'm gonna sign the bottom of the deck. And you can buy it on my website at jeremymarin.com. Uh, I'll even put it on sale too. But the blue one, there's gonna be a sale on for these scooters after this video, so if you are interested, go ahead. Alrighty, let's take the plastic off. Let's have a look at this bad boy. Now we're gonna be doing some close up shots of this as well, but I just wanna show you what it looks like right now, straight out. Get off, get off. Got some bars as well. Bars, deck. All right, let's go over the specs, guys. Let me tell you exactly why this is such an amazing scooter. Okay, guys, starting from the top, we have the Fusion Pro Scooter's famous grips. Now, these grips are absolutely amazing. I definitely recommend these grips. I have not run a different pair of grips in so long. These are absolutely amazing. Uh, they are a bit thicker than normal grips on other scooters, but they are super soft as well. They give for an overall comfortable ride, and while performing entry-level tricks like bar spins are very soft on the hand. So they are absolutely amazing, and they last a very long time. I get a few months out of my grips. Because they are thicker than normal grips, they do take a while to wear down, which is amazing. They also wear down to a normal size grip after a while, and they mold to your hands, and they feel absolutely amazing. All right, moving on. All right, guys, moving down to the bars, the Fusion Pro Scooter, Dip T-bars with supports. Now these bars are absolutely amazing. They have the supports here for extra strength, but I just wanna emphasize that the supports here are actually rounded and not sharp. A lot of scooters come with sharp edges, uh, making you cut yourself when you do an entry level trick such as bar spins. Now these make for very, very comfortable and safe bars. They're made of chromoly steel. So yes, they are a little bit heavier than aluminum, but they are guaranteed to last you a lot longer and they're perfect for the entry level kit. Bar specs, height and width. For height, we've got 23 inches high, 22 inches wide, which is a perfect standard height for young entry-level beginner scooter riders that want a decent size bar so they can learn tricks, but also stay super comfortable as well. Moving down to the clamp on the bar. A simple double clamp here, nice and light. Uh, clamps are supposed to be nice and light. You don't need a bulky, heavy clamp on here. It's beautiful looking, just matches the bars with the black and it'll keep the bars attached to the compression nicely without looking too bulky and of course with not too much weight. Moving down to the fork and headset area, we have the Fusion Pro Scooters headset. Absolutely love these headsets. Super smooth, super fast, and they last a long time as well. Okay, moving down to the fork, we have a sculpted steel fork with a cutout in the middle to take out a bit of that extra weight. It is IHC compression, mini compression. Perfect, keeps the scooter stable, allows it to stay dialed uh, and sounds super epic when you drop it on the ground. You know that dialed sound that you guys all love? Well, the Fusion's got you covered here. Okay guys, moving down to the wheels on the Fusion Pro Scooter Z250. We have the black and silver wheels here. Have the black 
PU with a little bit of graphics on it along with the silver cutout for the core. Uh, these are 110 millimeter wheel, big for entry level beginners. They have nice speed, they have an 88 PU hardness with ABEC 9 bearings in there for lots of speed and lots of smoothness while rolling around. Let's move on to the meat and potatoes of the scooter and my favorite part is obviously the deck. Okay, so this deck is 4.5 inches wide by 19.5 inches long, which is absolutely amazing. I love those dimensions. I could actually ride this size scooter myself. Uh, so it comes with perfect dimensions. The concave in the deck is three degrees, so it has a three degree dip just in this area here. And the head tube angle is 83 degrees, which is the same as any professional park scooter out there as well. So the head tube angle is absolutely amazing. It's not too far back, not too far forward. It's just right for any park rider out there or anyone that just wants to commute on this scooter. The scooter deck weighs 1.28 kilograms, which is absolutely amazing. It's super, super light. Uh, one of the lightest decks on the market. Uh, the graphic on the bottom is absolutely insane as well. And the color blue is beautiful. The head tube has no cutout but it is hollow up through the middle and up through the back area as well. We're moving down to the back of the area, the last part is the brake. Now, I absolutely love Fusion brakes and I have not had any trouble with a Fusion Pro Scooter's brake ever. I've never broken one. I don't even have any rattle or anything. These are absolutely just a nylon steel brake. So they're just nylon on the outside with steel in the middle. So and the steel sits underneath stopping the wheel while the nylon sits on top here. It's a beautiful finish, looks really good and they hold up really well. So that is the Fusion Z250 2020 model in a nutshell. Looks beautiful, check it out. Let's do a quick drop test before we end the video. Alrighty guys, it's dialed, you know it's dialed. I can do all my tricks on it, I absolutely love it. Now, these are available on my website at jeremymarin.com. I am gonna be running a sale uh, due to Metropolitan Melbourne being in lockdown right now. I wanna put these bad boys on the website for $169. The regular retail price for these is $209. So they're perfect for commuting on. And uh, if you're bored in the six weeks, pick up one of these, go practice on it. And by the time you get back to the skate park, you'll be ready to do tricks in no time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button, drop a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.